and is, and whatever he's doing, if Unger chipsteaks are... Um... Um, one number three. Ooh, make that two. She said three. Uh, no, uh, two, two number threes. Ah, fast one thing, then another. This you're making up your minds for to decide. Um, just bring us two number threes and uh, one, uh, one number six. Sorry, I'm not selling cigarettes. <laughs> The longest running pop show on TV must be top of the pops. Respected and admired for its ability to stay as fresh and exciting as when it first started, just after the Crimean War. Oh, oh, oh. I was about that then, eh, guys and gal? It just so happens that we've got here in the studio four dead frogs in various stages of decomposition. Fantastic. I, I just want you to tell me what I should do about him. I don't know. You've got me there, Cyril. <laughs> Are you going to send a car up or what? Oh, Cyril, you didn't win a car. Hey, look, man. Maybe we could play you a little record instead. Now, listen. I'm holding a burglar captive, you idiot! Uh, ah, I don't think we've got that one, Cyril. Do you know who it's by? Ah! Ah, I'm, I'm so sorry, Sid. I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, Sid. Uh, well, Poppicus, you've probably heard all about the bad news about our pirate radio ship sinking. So until we get the money for another one, I'm afraid it's goodbye from all of us here on wonderful radio Riddleside! But it's men like Larry Wallet who really make the pop scene happen. The much maligned but unsung heroes of showbiz, the managers. These are the real stars, dynamically manipulating their clients to the top. These modern-day Svengalis are renowned for their unfailing honesty. Mr. Ponciatelli, would I like to hear who? Look, when I say this boy's big, I mean really big. <laughs> their unswerving loyalty to their clients. Hello? Ah, oh, this is at the airport, yeah. <clears throat> I wonder if you could help me. <laughs> Have you got any uh, suits left on tonight's flight to Brazil? The subtle way of handling delicate well, business negotiations. Yeah, thought you like that, yeah? I mean, you thought it over and you decided that a summer season in Pinner will not enhance your career. Fair enough, fair enough, yeah. Look, before you go, can I, can I just have a little word with you, tell you a little story? See, honestly, I don't want you to do this just because I'm going to make a bit of bread on a deal. No way, man. That's not the way I operate. No, you see, I want you to do it for my, my little daughter, Julie. You, you didn't know I had a little daughter? No? Well, as I was leaving the hostel this morning to see what damage the bailiffs had done to the office, I, I heard her say, Daddy. I had a bit of trouble hearing at first, obviously, what with her oxygen mask and everything. Daddy. She said. I, I, I wandered over to where she was and I, I leaned down. I was being very careful not to pull out the wires and things from her transfusion machine. As I gazed down at her, I, I could see a mother peddling the generator reflected in the little steel plate in her forehead, yeah? yeah. Daddy. She said to me. Please try and make that lovely boy with a nice voice do that summer season in Pinner. He looks like he could do with the fresh air. What's it? Yeah? You'll be round as soon as you've found your pen. Great. That's fabulous news, Troy. I'm pleased to hear that. That's taken a great load off my mind, mate. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'll give, I'll give you a laugh to little Julie. <clears throat> yeah, right, okay, Troy. Bye-bye, bye-bye. Janice. Oh, Mr. Wally, I just did. Stupid heard heard what? No idea about poor little Julie. Who? <laughs> You've been licking stamps again? Stop messing about. Get a bookie on the phone. I feel lucky today. <laughs> marinated in a blend of yogurt and spices, cooked slowly in an aromatic sauce of onions, crushed coconuts, ginger and coriander, with a sprinkling of Nepalese mountain herb, this is the only way to enjoy uh... Well, go on, Lynn, enjoy a what? A 1975 Volkswagen. 
Get caught like oh, Lynn and Jeff if you I fancy a meal after the program. For in and out, just give a shout and leave the eating to us. I did it my way, 14 Armageddon Parade, behind St. Gino's Incomprehensive. There, there, Cyril. Don't fret. I'm sure they'll send somebody around soon. I do hope so. Now, be a good boy. Drink up your cocoa before it gets cold. Thank you ever so much. You've been very... Very heavily armed. It's ridiculous. Nobody can walk around with arms that heavy. Wait a minute. Yes, I think they're going to release him. I can hear gunfire. Yes, I can hear gunfire! Yes. J j just hang on a moment, please. Um, is there a Captain X here? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. one. Thank you. Oh. <coughs> yes. Sorry. Oh. Right. right. Hello? Look, how many times must I tell you not to phone me at work? Very sorry about that. Yes. Well, thank you for coming. It's been a pleasure. Yeah. Sherry, anyone? But none of the TV shows, or anything else for that matter, would be possible without the next group of people we're going to have a look at, the fans. If it wasn't for their dedication and money, all would be lost. Well, 
Here in the studio, we have three young men who call themselves heavy metal freaks. Gary, Wayne, Darren. Hi. No. Not yet, no. Right. Uh, would one of you like to start off by explaining to viewers who might not be familiar with the term exactly what heavy metal is? Yeah, you know, it's like, it's, it's when, uh, you know, like, and like that it is, yeah. Yeah, right, you know. Yeah. Like, you know, like heavy metal, mm -hmm. like, you know, it's like, yeah. they're good. Yeah, 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 it's fantastic. Yes, possibly. But what exactly is it? I just told you, didn't I? Yeah, I know you did, but it doesn't explain what kind of music you're into. Heavy metal. Mm. You know, like, like, you know, like groups like, uh, like, uh, Levi, uh, Motorhead and Russian up. It's CDC and kill him. So, uh, you're not into bands like Gary Newman or Spandau Ballet? No, or... you, you start out, you know, liking loads of singers and that. Yeah, like, uh, like Sheena East and uh, Nolans. Yeah, lads like them. And then, like, you know, one day, you hear somebody that's like, you know, like, take good. Yeah, like Iron School from Sheffield. Yeah. And, and a whole new world opens up for you. Yeah. Really? Yeah, because it's dead good when it gets dead loud. When, when, when we really want to get in in the music, we uh, stick our heads in the group's loudspeakers. Mm -hmm. But surely that must damage your hearing. Huh? Um, is yeah, it, it does. true that heavy metal does. fans are into taking drugs? No, no way, babe. No, no. no, no. We, we don't need to. No, no, no. no. we're stupid enough already. Right. You get a lot of words. You try to make them work. What do you get? You take the letter M. Then you add a stupid end. What do you get? Uh, 